Hello, hello, hello. We are back in Hong Kong. Welcome. Today we're going to go for a walk around the Mong Kok, Mong Kok area of the city. You can see right in front of us we've got a sex shop. What a good place to start? Maybe not. And as you can see, very, very busy here in Hong Kong, as it always is. I must admit it's the first time that it's been dry all day. We've had rain pretty much all morning. To say when you're comparing cities, Singapore and Taipei was much cleaner than Hong Kong. Lots and lots of litter as you walk around the streets. And as you can see, there's just traffic everywhere. It's incredibly busy. Spanish Hourly Hotel. I wonder what goes on there. You can stay for an hour. Mong Kok is the busiest shopping district in Hong Kong and you'll see a real mix of different types of architecture, lots of big brand shops as well as local brands as well. Got the red taxis here and you've got the Dragon City dispensary, like a chemist, maybe Chinese. Well, I'm not too sure what it is looking at it actually. Yeah, it looks more like a, a chemist. If you are looking for somewhere to explore at night time, then this is definitely the place to check out. Lots of street food, fantastic street life, lots of neon lights, fascinating it is. One of the things that I like about Hong Kong is whilst there's busy roads, there's lots of bridges and subways so you can cross the roads safely. As you can see here, very busy. Lots of cars, lots of people. Just the hustle and bustle of the city is incredible. As I said in my last video, it's just incredible the amount of people that live in this city. What, seven and a half million? And space is so tight with these apartment complexes just trying to fit as many people as they can in these buildings which are very thin and tall and as you can see down here it's got tons and tons of these minibuses it's like a light bus just get people around the city i noticed this in the subways at the weekend basically lots and lots of people just sat down on blankets having lunch socializing i guess with accommodation space you just make use of the space you've got the parks the subways places like this one thing that has surprised me about hong kong is just the sheer amount of markets my mum would absolutely love it here she loves markets and it's just everything and anything for sale it goes right to the top of this street and here is another street full of these little mini buses or light buses whatever you want to call them just taking up all the room in the road before i forget congratulations those that accepted the challenge that i put out in my last video I was surprised you did it. Your reward will be coming very soon. Watch the video to the end for today's challenge. We are now walking through the market. I think this is the ladies market and it comes alive more at night time and it continues. As you can see it goes all the way down to the bottom of this street. We've got clothes to our right and it's looking like lots of fruit to our left. See here we've got dragon fruit, melons and then we also have shops on the side as well. And above the market you can just see all of the local housing and the air conditioning units popping out of the window. Incredible. I'm looking for some t-shirts and I've just seen a really good one. It was a Nike logo and it said just do it tomorrow. <laughs> Well, that was quite good that's just typical me when it comes to exercise i'll do it tomorrow well maybe i could get some monkey shorts for one pound just another shot of the buildings literally in the middle is the market where i am right now it's incredible isn't it i keep saying incredible i'm sorry but seven and a half million people living in this city it's it's crazy when you think about it 
Talking about exercise though, I do do a hell of a lot of walking. Anyway, let's continue exploring. You can just see how busy it is considering it's midweek as well. It's only, what, Tuesday today. The area that we are in now is called Goldfish Market and you shall see why in a second. All over this street are aquariums selling fish as you can see here, goldfish, aquarium fish, as you can see here. Now these neon lights are sending my camera a bit crazy but you can see loads of uh, aquarium equipment and just tons and tons of fish. Literally you will find aquarium shops all the way down this street. I guess it's because of the space in the accommodation, they can't have cats or dogs. So I guess aquarium fish would, a goldfish would be the next best thing. And these light buses don't give a damn where they park, they just park anywhere. As I mentioned earlier, there are a ton of subways so you can get across the streets. And you'll see why. These streets are pretty busy with traffic. But what they've done is blocked it off so pedestrians can't walk across. As you can see here with this wall. So yes, it's time to go underneath the subway. It's just a typical subway. Nothing particular special about it. I mean, just look how tall and thin this building is. This looks very much like my hotel, but it isn't. More interesting little alleyways. It's quite funny seeing these signs saying, penalty 1,500 Hong Kong dollar, which is about 150 pound. Because there's litter everywhere. People are dropping litter everywhere. As with most cities in Asia, lots of construction work going on. interesting sculpture two fishes what you also find in Hong Kong a lot of these little chill out areas some areas have got smoking and then others are just chill out where you can sit down and relax real mix of old and new architecture just a fascinating place to explore to be completely honest so much to capture street life wise the challenge for today is to get five shares and 50 likes and if you do that in 24 hours I will do a Hong Kong at night video. There you go, there's your challenge. Pretty easy considering you did so well with the, uh, the last one. Imagine having to climb up all them steps to get to your building. There's no lifts. There's letter boxes at the side. So our walk is nearly coming to an end, but don't go anywhere yet. I'm going to be showing you something interesting. If you are interested in what a letter box looks like here in Hong Kong, this is a letter box. Very busy around here. Typical Hong Kong taxis. And here we have some street art. It's like a little cupboard in the street with loads of items in it like chairs and tools. This is what I was going to show you. That white building is my hotel. I'm on the 18th floor and I shall give you a tour around my little room in the next video. Until next time, take care, explore and travel safe.